Hey everyone, another week and another lack of things to talk about really. Most of the headlines right now are about the US or Denmark or some other country thinking about restarting their economy. Listening to the vague plans being thrown around, it's a bit like someone discussing their vague plans to restart a fitness regime they abandoned back in February. You know, obviously it's for the best, but it's also a bit tricky, you know, maybe give it another month. Chancellor Rishi Sunak's stories and plans about restarting the British economy are a bit like me planning to buy a Jaguar. Yeah, sure, at some point, but it's a bit expensive and it's easy just not to do anything about it right now. I guess the main thing that analogy has in common is that they both involve writing unnecessarily large checks to the loss-making British car industry, although at least in the case of the Treasury they get a bulk buyer's discount. Remember the days when John Prescott had two Jaguars? Anyway, not much else going on out there really. I did hear that Oasis had collapsed and died, which was good because I was more of a Blur fan in the day, but then I realised it was the high street fashion chain Oasis that they were talking about. Also in the news has been the story of Captain Tom Moore, a 99-year-old army veteran who walked a hundred lengths of his garden in a charity effort to raise money for the NHS. It's a lot of work for a man of his age to be doing, even the Queen was said to be impressed, although to be fair she doesn't understand that his garden's only a few dozen feet across rather than several hundreds of acres like hers. Captain Tom did raise uh, £16 million in the process, so it's pretty impressive, even compared to professional fundraisers like Comic Relief or the like. Although admittedly I would rather watch an elderly gentleman walk across his patio a hundred times than watch Lenny Henry do his biennial 12-hour stand-up. Makes you long for the days when someone like Ricky Gervais or John Cleese went on Comic Relief to do a sketch, even if it was just because they had a book to promote or an ex-wife to pay off. Remember when the BBC used to get comics in who had actual red noses because they'd been in the Queen's Tavern pub since two o'clock that afternoon? Ah, them were the days. Talking of which, a friend of mine recently just got pulled over in his car by the police and when he went down the window, the officer said, Sir, I can smell alcohol on your breath. And he responded, Yes, that's because you're not respecting social distancing laws. Anyway, the trial starts a week on Thursday. See you next week. Like these. Click subscribe.